uh, hi friends um, in this video I just would um, I would like to show you a quite detailed level I'm, I'm using this as a um, IDA 7 so which is a ECC 7 and on the other side um, I'm, I'm showing you um, the HANA server yeah so let's say what what uh, basic differences uh, between um, the our SAP HANA and uh, also the SAP um, what do you call uh, ECC7 um, in the document types yeah so uh, I would like to show you uh, quickly and uh, what are the changes um, between the document type if you go to the OBA7 where you will configure the document type settings so I just go for a customer invoice which is DR if you go into the DR so you can see the settings so here when you go to the same settings and uh, go to the DR and you can see so there's not much changes but yes there is a changes yeah so uh, in the case of uh, ECC 7 or, or EHP 7 you are having um, document type and and the properties is not changed the properties remain same and the account types allowed here you can see assets customer vendor and material and GL account so here the account types allowed is actually extended to the secondary costs yeah at the document type level since why this change uh, is happened you can say in the case of our uh, AC doca uh, table um, even the secondary cost also coming into the um, one universal uh, general ledger yeah so by by seeing this yeah you can see if they don't activate this and the integration may not be you know complete so now um, you don't need to um, do any special postings for Shivu FI uh, and this future will allow automatically to, to reconcile between the FI and CO in the case of account types so there is an additional account type here which is a, a secondary cost and uh, regarding the control data yeah so you can see the control data is, is same so net document type customer vendor check and negative postings allowed intercompany postings trading partner so this is also same so there is no much difference uh, between um, your uh, old version and, and a new version so in the case of uh, a special usage yeah so it, it just name has changed um, don't don't think that this is a BI only it means it's not a business intelligence maybe they, they just put as a, a batch input as a BI here or, or, or yeah so that that could be the reason um, they put and uh, here if you see the required during document entry yeah so this is a, a not changed it's remains ram in the case of joint venture yeah so in this can be your maybe in your interview question when you go um to your asperana okay what are the changes at the document type level and don't confuse with this bi and and, and also batch input here so the only change you can see here um, under account types level yeah so um the secondary costs and uh, and uh, here uh, you can see there is a no secondary cost because the reconciliation um, is is a real time if you having a document splitting active and and also uh, you you are using a, um, inheritance uh, uh, document splitting uh, in the new GL function yeah then in it in this case uh, it is a uh, automatically you know the system uh, reconcile the data but in the case of uh, as for HANA yeah it's actually um, you need to you need to um, maintain whether the which document types are usually used for our secondary cost postings so here um, if you go to the again the same 
T code uh, you can see this is a secondary cause posting they have a special document type hmm? yeah so so in this case uh, yeah you can see here whether you have uh, you don't have any CO here so the only the a standard uh, document type which are delivered by the SAP is for the secondary cost so in the interview if they ask okay the, what is the additional future is added to the document type yeah you can easily say yeah it's under account type uh, the secondary cost um, is, is, is allowed uh, with the new version for in the, uh, in the case of HANA okay thank you